Hello everyone, this is Phenoth and we're playing Hover Revolt of Gamers. Um, before I start, um, I just want to say that the reason why I was inactive for like the last month was that I wanted to take a break from all the, you know, game recording and such and I wanted to reflect on how I wanted to produce the videos and what I want to do with this uh, channel I'm, I have on YouTube and so I thought that I could experiment on a lot of things this would usually result with shorter videos and um, hopefully if these experiments come out well I will find a way I would have found a way to produce better content anyway with that aside let's play the game Anyway, if you notice, I played the game for quite a while, and I have like three characters here, but let's start a new team. Let's start fresh. So, we'll call this team the Prini Brigade, or Brigade. Anyway, English aside, we have a new team. So we'll create a new member for this team and if you notice here these are the characters or DNAs that I unlocked. Usually you just start out with these two but the more you play the game the more you unlocked these two I haven't unlocked yet. So we'll choose this guy and we'll give him a name. Uh, we'll name him Prinny. Mint. Pretty mint. And let's just change the color first. Let's make them shorter. Let's change the color to blue. Even darker blue. And brown. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And great. Now we have pretty mint. Let's just start. Okay, so I've been through this tutorial like a lot of times, but um, I won't go too fast. I'll just give you some time to pause the video and just like read. So, if you just read that, we just came out of a cloning tank. That's always neat. So we'll just start with this guy. If you just noticed, he said that this abandoned place. So cloning became such a typical thing to the point where there are multiple facilities of cloning. So the same idea is that you go scan something, which is that, you press the scan button and it opens the door. So now you just uh, jump from one platform to another. Usually if you have a good well equipped character you just easily go from here to there, but right now since this character is like a really new fresh character, we'll just have to jump across. And don't worry, things will get better as you play. You'll get stuff to make the character really, really fast and be able to jump like from here to like the top if you spec the character correctly. So it's just a simple matter of climbing, just jump. So this character, since he's just basic and his stats is all around, he won't have much difficulty in climbing, but some characters can't jump at all. Like they have really short hops. Thank you. 
Anyway, so we'll just jump from one wall to another, and we're done. Okay. I'm actually curious. Uh, maybe for later. Anyway, so yeah, we got the grind. They're usually saying the press the whatever button is because I'm using a controller. I don't know why they're not saying it like properly or something. Anyway, just walk and hold X. Oh, uh, cute. Uh, one thing to note: you could like uh, shift your weight while you're grinding, which is a nice thing. You'll need to do this in some um, some time in the future. Anyway. So, so as you read, we there's this neat thing called the rewind. It lets you, as I would say, correct your mistakes. This is extremely important when you're. Uh, racing in the game. So we jump down, you scan, you have 8 seconds, go back, and we're through. And that's it. Yeah, some people actually do that. I don't know where. Anyway. So this is uh, so you just spray the graffiti here, and boop, and you get a nice little XP. Yeah, expect me accidentally pressing this a lot. It will get annoying. So. Since we're like at level zero and we have like one vacant space here, we use chips to improve the character's stats. And each character has their own um, chip mapping. We scan this and we get a neat uh, pulse generator. This improves our jumping. So we click here, we click on the empty space, we click on this, and confirm. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we grab this. You could do two things, you could just like easily walk up to it and just like that should have it done or you could toss it and it opens. Both ways works. And we're through. You could either walk slowly, or, let's hope this works, you could run and, okay, you can't really glide, you can't, I didn't pick up enough speed, okay, and I think this is the end of the tutorial, they'll just tell you about the hover heat, over just puts you to overdrive and lets you run, jump higher, and do a lot of things better. And now we're at the main area. It's quite the big area.
Anyway, so let's get out of here and we're here. Okay, so this has this game has a really large world. I think there's like more than one place, and each place is vastly different from the other. This is like the overworld hub, and this. This place has a lot of stuff, so this game also has side quests and main quests. Um, you'll see me do mainly the main quests, sometimes the side quests if I need to do it so I can either unlock a DNA or unlock a special or get a really good ship. Anyway, so let's just see. Okay, so he's just gonna show us about the racing. Okay, so if you want to achieve like hover heat while you're just standing, uh, keep on pressing the uh, trick button rapidly, and you get to charge, stay in style. And that's it. Okay, get ready. Two, one, and go. Okay. So one good way to keep the hover heat up is to slide. Just to keep it in check because it does deplete if you don't do anything for a while. So, and grinding also keeps up the hover heat. So keep be sure to keep that in mind. The game does have a tendency of lagging and doing that sometimes. I honestly don't know why. I don't know why they never checked that. Um, let's try going back. If we can't do the race again, I'll just check another race to do. Anyway, so... Yeah, I, I didn't really expect that to happen. We just got disconnected from... Um, we just got removed from the race abruptly. That usually happens, but not all the time. Okay, so let me just find a uh, another person to race if I can. Not him. Okay, so they're just telling you about the story. I'll try to see if there's like a race I can do. Okay, so they just basically explained to us the story of the game, and... Uh, let me just find something to do a race, and maybe end it from there. Uh, let's see if I can just find something quick. Okay, challenge Zoxy, that was what we were doing before. Uh, green tea will do later, but Roxy will just introduce you to the uh, racing aspect of the game. Okay, yes, yes, we're coming. Charge. Okay. And go. Okay. Okay, we're doing good so far. Yeah, sliding and then jumping kind of gives you a nice um, height boost. This is particularly useful when you're like doing uh, races that rely a lot on jumping. Fortunately, this is just a race that relies on foot. And another grinding thing. Okay, I think we're at the end. Not really the fastest time, but it's good. Ok, 
Okay, let's just uh, let them short these chips. Okay. So the game has like three medals, you know, the bronze, silver, and uh, gold. And it also has something called platinum, which is fluffy metal in this game if you went really fast. Okay. Okay, let's just uh, see what I can give to the character. Okay, we still have a slow up it. And I think I'll end it from here and continue on later on. And before I go, remember people, stay classy.